this is Sugar Sean. Um, your affirmation for this video is I am worth loving. Again, your affirmation for this video is I am worth loving. Today we are going to start The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild from the Nintendo Switch. This is docked footage. Even though this is um, the day after Valentine's Day, I'd like to say Happy Valentine's Day to everyone, even though, you know, it's a new day. <laughs> Dawn of a new day. Hope you guys are all doing good. I'll be reading every text in this game, except for um, after I've read them once. And I won't be talking during cutscenes. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. on the Nintendo Switch and on YouTube. So if you guys can, you know, to help out the cause of the channel, like, favorite, and subscribe. And happy 35th anniversary to The Legend of Zelda. This is the, uh, wow, the 35th anniversary. This game, uh, the series is five years older than I am. Is a Sheikah Slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Sheikah Slate, a mysterious tablet with a glowing center. You've never seen this device before, and yet. There's something familiar about it. I will be doing all DLC, all the content, and I'll be using all amiibos. Well worn trousers. These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. The uh, legs are a bit too short though. Open your inventory, equip weapons and armor and other gear here. Pressing the plus symbol. Old shirt, a thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Hmm. 
Authenticating. Sheikah Slate confirmed. Link, you are the light. Our light. That must shine upon Hyrule once again. Now go. And this video is sponsored by yours truly. Someone's watching us from afar. Tree branch. Rooting branches such as these are pretty common, but it's surprisingly well balanced. Doesn't do much damage, but can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Use this button, Y, to attack with your equipped weapon. Crouching increases yourself, making it easier to sneak up on foes and animals. Hylian Shroom. A common mushroom found near trees all around or around Hyrule. Eat it to restore half a heart. Bladed Rhino Beetle. This beetle's razor sharp horns demand that you handle it with care. Boil the horns alongside monster parts to conduct concoct an elixir that will raise your attack power. Change weapon. You can use. You can switch weapons quickly, pressing the right on the D-pad and holding, and using the right analog stick to switch between. Them. I like how every item in this game does have a purpose. And a boulder just begging to be pushed. Basically showing the game's physics engine. I'm curious if Nintendo's using their own physics engine because I do know they're partnered with NVIDIA. And NVIDIA usually has pretty good, um, Physics. I tell Blizzard, a lizard found throughout Hyrule, it's a bit slow to react at times, but if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for a speed boost at Western. A common fruit on trees all around Hyrule. Eat it fresh or cook it to increase its effect. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Old man. Ho oh, ho. Well met, stranger. Rather unusual to see another soul around these parts. Who are you? Hmm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who lives here alone for quite some time now what brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this 
Where are we? <sighs> Answering a question with a question. That's fair enough. As I cannot imagine our meeting to be a simple coincidence. I shall tell you. This is the Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Hmm. That temple there. Long ago, it was the site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. <clears throat> Yet another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I should be here for some time. Please let me know if I may be of service. What's this? Question mark, question, question mark. Baked apple. Direct heat has softened and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. <sighs> I beg your pardon? I do not believe that is my... I do believe that is my baked apple. You cannot just go about taking whatever you please. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. I couldn't resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple is an, an open flame make for a succulent tree. This looks like a familiar object. Question mark, question mark, question mark. Torch. This torch will stay ignited. Will stay lit once ignited. But if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Huh? Well then, up yourself to that torch there. And how, may I ask, are you planning to use it as a weapon? Hmm. Innovative. However, that is probably best to use the light fires if you need a weapon you can, use, you can find something better many beasts roam in the land past this point you can take my axe with you if you please assuming you can find it <laughs> however do not just swing it around without purpose you must face your opponents and lock your sights on them using the zl to lock on, effective for targeting. Press and hold. Speaking of an axe, woodcutter's axe, a woodcutter's tool of choice for falling trees. Formidable weight and uneven balancing make it slow and an inefficient weapon. Throwing weapon. You can throw the weapon in your hand by pressing and holding the R button to aim. And then release to throw. Link. Link. Head for the point marked on the map in your Sheikah Slate. Check the Seeker Slate. Access your Sheikah Slate by pressing minus. Plus 62 degrees Fahrenheit. Follow the Sheikah Slate. Portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make campfires if you have something to light it. Ah, he got away. Mm -hmm. okay. I must be something. Haha, <laughs> 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 you found me. Throat. Huh? You're not Hetsu, but you can see me. I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. <laughs> oh, if you're in a Hetsu, please return this to him. Korok seed, a small seed that was given to you by Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what might happen. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose in suspicious places. Game basically gives me permission to be in the party. The sword in the stone reference. 
rusty broadsword once this once fearsome sword has seen better days it can do some damage in the right hand but also breaks quickly <laughs> We had a boko club. A crude or boko bobbin club made to climb a small prey. Essentially a stick, so its durability is low. Ancient spring, a spring used in ancient machinery. It's light and buoyant enough to float on water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it will never lose tension. <laughs> Take some. Oh, Boko Boblin Fang. Tooth obtained from the Boko Boblin. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it's pretty hard. Cook it alongside a critter to make an elixir. Boko Boblin Horn. A severed horn of a Boko Boblin, a creature often encountered in the plains of Hyrule. It's edible, but can only be tossed into a stew with some of the critters to make an elixir. It isn't <laughs> edible. <laughs> Roasted bird drumstick. Raw bird drumstick that has been cooked. A crisp to crisp. To a crisp. Small <laughs> skin and all. It's div divided. Devoid it of seasoning. Oh, okay. It's devoid of seasoning, but it has a simple, accessible taste. And storage more hearts than the raw variety. Some of these entries I actually haven't read before. I would just pick up the item, so some of these are going to be new to me. And you might actually learn more about the game that way. Hylian trousers, traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable, and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. Well, let's put those in. Choo-choo jelly, a glutinous substance that came from a choo-choo. It's unusable in this day, but apply it. Applying it to a bit of elemental stimulation will change its form. <laughs> ancient spring. A spring used in ancient machinery, it's light. Buoyant enough to float on water, and no matter how many times it's compressed, it will never lose tension. It never loses tension. <laughs> this is a good way of getting some. Ancient gear pieces early on. Just search for these guys. An ancient screw. The screw used in ancient machinery is made of unknown material. No matter how many times it's turned, its thread never lose, never seems to show signs of wear. Red spring. So we got the screw, the spring. And another piece. See if we can find it and we'll read it to entry just to get them out of the way. 
that one. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, we already searched it. <laughs> Not in there. Not in there. A bundle of five common arrows. The shafts of these arrows are carved from the wood of a sturdy tree. Traveler's bow, a small bow used by travelers for protection, but it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can be used to attack bows from a distance. To draw the bow, use ZR and release ZR to fire. some more here we go ancient gear gear used in ancient machinery despite being incredibly old its build quality is leaps and bounds above anything built using current technology so we're going to need three of each of those ancient items or something to explain later on. Point is, is they're really valuable early game. Just so we don't get a game over, how about we yeah. this? Get our health back to full. We are gonna try to get a no game over. If possible, if not, then that's all right. Let's continue forward. <laughs> Pretty sure it's you can do this, but I had some attempt prior in my <laughs> other playthroughs and have not succeeded. <laughs> so it might be a hit or miss. Fresh bird egg necessary for cook making dishes, such as omelets and crippets. You can snag them from bird's nests if you're sneaky, nutritious, and delicious for, for cooking. Got two of them. One. Physics in this game is pretty amazing. And it can be a bit um, exploited. Huh. I'm pretty sure you've seen some good videos already. We're almost at our ideal mark. guys haven't seen us yet. Those two in particular are good for later on because there's something you can do to farm. <laughs> Certain items we'll probably see in a moment. <laughs> Those guys are gone. Get 
some food. Sheared steak. Raw meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking it as increases flavor and a number of hearts it provides. <laughs> Shot hitting an enemy in the head with the arrow for, forms a critical hit, dealing two times the damage. And getting a critical hit will also allow you to uh, disarm the enemies. I've noticed. Spike Boko Club reinforced Boko Club has made. To maximize its death and sharpening bone jab into it, making it a brutal weapon. <laughs> Our first chest again. We will be taking this guy. This is actually stronger. Chest of the game nets us. Five fire arrows. A bundle of five fire arrows. Fire arrows break apart on impact, igniting objects in the immediate area. Incredibly effective against cold things. Draw the bow with ZR and use right or I mean left on the D-pad and your right stick to switch between. I'm sure we can get rid of a stick and pick up our woodcutters at. Still more durable than a stick. There, there's arrows on the ground. And that's actually the item you can farm here. You just these guys miss you. Just let them hit the ground and pick them up. I think you could generate around 15 arrows or so. Dude. Yeah, you can get about 15 arrows pop. Headshot. Boko shield. A Boko Boblin made shield crafted by attaching a handhold to a flat bark of tree picked up off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. Raise your shield using ZL. More arrows. So it's nice. And grab the sword, a very common sword kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's fairly durable, but it is a bit unreliable against monsters. But it's more reliable than the regular tree branch. We are at our marker. Place the Sheikah Slate on the pedestal. Uh, yeah, it looks like it fits. <laughs> Set this here. There it goes. 
machine. Sparkle, sparkle. Shika slate, a Shika tower activated. Please watch the falling rocks. And we fall on our butt. And then on our back. Great Plateau Tower. Distilling local information. Unlock the map of the Great Plateau. Regional map extracted. Plus 61 degrees Fahrenheit. 1,000. One thing the game doesn't mention. Let's see if it does. We gotta cut some here. Try. Try to remember. You have been asleep. For the past 100 years, <laughs> the beast, when the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. here well, one thing I don't think the game necessarily shows you until later on is you have two little circles next to your map one is actually a noise meter it looks like a heartbeat line and a degrees Fahrenheit meter left for cold right for hot Seem we have quite an enigma. Hmm. This tower and others just like it have erupted, erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has woken quite suddenly. If you don't mind me asking, did anything occur while on top of the tower? I heard a voice. Hmm. Oh no, a voice you say. One thing with this old man is you have multiple options, but you'll hear a certain chime if you select with the right um, answer. Well now, a voice you say. Did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity enshrouding the castle. Hmm. That this calamity gathering. 100 years ago, that veil entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. 
it has suddenly and appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path so many innocent lives were lost in its wake for a century that the very symbol of our kingdom our castle has managed to contain that evil but just barely it festers building it straight for the moment to unleash its light upon the land once again it would appear that moment is fast approaching. Ooh. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? How do you? <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain or more foolish. Hmm. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Paraglider? <laughs> <laughs> I piqued your interest, have I? Yes. I didn't come soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Hmm. <laughs> Worry not. I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Hmm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Press the plus symbol to uh, open up adventure log. Your adventures are detailed here. Hmm. Come, let me show you something. See that structure over there, the one shining with a strange light. It began glowing the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. <laughs> I think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider is a fear change, I believe. Not the only treasure I saw though. An acorn, often found near the ground, on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore this nut, so you may have a competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for nutty season. I thought I saw something. Reality. Second chest. In our second shield, chain shield. You can switch shields quickly by pressing the hold of left on D-pad and then using the right analog stick. Bow. This basic boko boblin bow made of wood. It is made by taking a tree branch and just tying a string to either end, so don't expect it much in the way of combat effectiveness. 
Press and hold the ZR and the left on the deep, the right on the D-pad, and use the right analog stick to switch between. <laughs> Rambler sword, a very common sword kept often by travelers and our swampies, and it's very durable, but unreliable against monsters. Picking up the monster parts may not seem like it now. They are valuable. Like I said every item in this game does seem to have some value. Season pass and Ruby, a precious red gem mined from a large ore deposit found throughout Pyro. Rupees contain the power of fire and have fetched a high price since ancient times. Examine. Chief the Slate confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. Hmm. Salmon. Oh, shake it up there, Link. I do have this downloaded onto the main memory of the Switch, so it actually loads faster than a cartridge. This is the digital. Should you set foot in this shrine, I am MNOU. In the name of the goddess Haya, I offer this trial. Man, this trial. Sheikah Slate authenticated, distilling broom. Magnus. Manipulate metallic objects using magnetism. Grab onto a metallic object using the magnet and you get Pours forth from the Magnus room. Object held in the magnet snare can be lifted and moved up freely. Rune extracted. Use the selected room for your Shika slate using L. Bow, a small bow used by travelers for protection. 
Doesn't do a lot of damage, but can be used to attack those from a distance. Do it again. Simon. Notice his hands in a triangle formation. Seems to be almost like a, in a top position. Have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am, in, I am Omen Aul, the creator of this tribe. I am a humble monk, blessed by the sight of the goddess Hyde that dedicated to help those who seek to help the goddess and my tyrant. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. That kind of faded a little too quickly, so I just kind of hung. Name the goddess Hyde. Allow me to bestow you upon this gift upon you. Please accept this spirit. Yeah. Resorbs it right into his chest. His bird arm, a symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of the shrine. Goddess, smile upon you. And may you rest in peace. And it automatically teleports us out. Ho! Oh! Seems you've managed to get your hands on a spare orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> there are points. <laughs> or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it becomes more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which was once hidden can be viewed often can often be crystal clear. <laughs> perhaps it's not true for everyone. <laughs> The appearance of those towers and the awakening of this shrine hmm. is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. What do you mean? Ooh. It has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved the kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago. Or so it is too. Or so it is said. Interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time, hidden away in a shrine. Hmm. These shrines are tucked in a numerous places across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. <laughs> Bring me the treasure from each of the shrines and I will give you my bird. So I need more now? Hmm. I said treasure, but I never said there would be more than one. The only one. Whether there's one, treasure, or four, what's the difference for a go-getter? Young go Since I'm feeling generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. Hmm. It is always best to survey the area by looking around for my how about you make your way atop of that tower? Got it. <laughs> I admire your eagerness. But allow me to teach you something else before you go. Take a look at the map on your sheet of sleep. Hmm. See the blue icons? You can recognize the cave where you awoke, the shrine where you came from, and the tower. You can instantly travel to any of those places. Hmm. Or so I heard quite some time ago. I did not know if it actually works as such. Heroes path mode unlocked. Press X on the map screen to switch between. Oh. 
Ini Finding your way. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. How did you <laughs> leave an old man in his secrets? Now then, I want you to join me up here so you can use this vantage point to search for the shrines. Do you know about the scope on your Sheikah slate? Look through it and you can stick a pen anywhere you like to mark on the map. The scope and pins. View distant things and mark them with pins. Look in your right stick and then press A to pin. Ooh. The pins on your map serves as a reference point for your travels. Just stick a pin anywhere you're interested in. Got it. Go ahead. If you notice, I chose the wrong dialogue option, so it gave a different chime. Go ahead and take a look if you feel inclined to do so. Come over here. Because I don't feel like climbing down. Actually, every time you fast travel, those guys, those two guys, those Boko Bobbins, shooting the arrows that we were farming earlier, will actually reset every time you teleport. And these metal boxes you can now take. Bring them up as high as you can go. Let them drop. Amber, a fossilized resin with a caramelistic sheen to it. It can be valued as a component in decorations, crafting, and station times. Opai, or a poet, Opai. A valuable ore that gives off a mesomeric interest that's similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains the power of water. Get out of the water. Up a chest. That was a bad example, but let's try going over here where you can't normally open. It. Yeah, his <laughs> foot gets hurt. Five ice arrows. A bundle of five ice arrows. Ice arrows break apart on impact. Use an object in the media area, probably affecting against hot things. Interesting enough, I feel like they should have like taken a photo of a heart doing that, but yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, you found me. Okay. Another cooker. Bye bye. Now, actually, use amiibos. After the first shrine, you are able to use amiibos, and I'll be using a majority of the obtained items of amiibos off screen because it's it's gonna take a while to obtain all the items. But one guy, and it's very nice to have, is Wolf Link. An interesting factor about Wolf Link is he has green on his tail and on the head of his fur. And he also has his ears pierced. Just like Link. And Twilight Link um, actually has his ears pierced as well. Definitely have to obtain items like raw meat. Meat obtained from animals in the plains and forests. You eat it raw, but cooking it will make it more delicious and nutritious. Got another eight one. You definitely want to get these guys. These are stem mushrooms, a green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release. It's stamina restoration properties. Drumstick. This meat is tougher and chewier than the standard steak. Tastes better cooked. Oh, another one. So with that, we already turned that and quite a bit of raw meat. One thing to note about um, the amiibos that I have is I actually have the card amiibos. You can find them on Amazon. Pretty cheap, about I think $15, $18, less than $20. And they're really convenient because it gives you all the amiibo cards and you don't have to carry around the actual amiibo figures. Which you try to buy, I actually cost quite a bit. And with that lit, you can actually cook some things. That, that, and that. Let's see what we can make with this. You three items. <laughs> meat skewer, a juicy, filling snack made by grilling small chunks of meat on a skewer. <laughs> Easy there. Check the meal ingredients by selecting an ingredient. In the menu. We have an interesting lock that will make a cockroach appear. Ha ha ha! You found me. Another cockroach is a part. And with that, guys, I think that's the end of this video. I'll see you in part two. And as always, live and learn. <laughs>